Hi and welcome. Today we're going to go through Eka Pada Bakasa. So one-legged crow. Um, you might need a few blankets, maybe you want a few pillows just in case. Um, I've got a few blocks and a blanket and I'll show you a few variations. So we're going to start off by coming onto all fours. Um, this posture uh, for you that have practiced Bakasana quite a bit um, and want to move on, um, it's the same foundation. So it's still your uh, shoulder width distance between your hands, spread your fingers super wide. It is still your Chaturanga. So it's still here. And you want to keep that in mind when you're coming into the posture because it will really help you to put more weight forward into your head and your upper body um, than relying on your legs and core to, to take um, most of the weight. That's going to be really heavy. So to start off, to make it a little easier, for some people they like to use blocks or maybe pillows or something under their head so you have something to support your body onto in the very beginning practicing this posture. So blocks, um, make a little blanket so you have a little bit of support. So you're going to find your um, bakasana, so your crow, but you're going to just place your head first down so it's nice and supported. And then you're going to choose, let's do our right leg. So right knee comes to right triceps, lift your toes up, point them, and slowly start to place your weight into your head. Um, I need to back my hands away. So you're slowly going to lift um, up and out, hollowing the body, lifting that back leg slowly, hugging the knees, no hugging the knees, hugging the elbows, Woo. and come slowly down. So I find that way more challenging. I know a lot of people like to practice this way. It's more of a maybe a softer type of landing when you practice with your head to, towards something. Um, but I like to teach this without the comfort of your things. So rather just place a, I'd rather just place a blanket or a pillow just in front in case you fall forward so that you're engaging the right parts of your body. Um, you can do this and then lift off your head, but that's going to be really hard. So whoo, as you saw, that was a struggle. So moving on from props. Again, your setup is the same. Shoulder width distance, spread the fingers super wide. Now, you're going to place your knee onto your tricep, just like crow. But in one-legged crow, it's easier if you place your knee to this little shelf towards your elbow. So there's a little, um, yeah, a little area there that you can place your knee to that will actually support up your body like a shelf. Spread the fingers wide, come on up. Place your knee into your little shelf or your triceps. Now start to place your weight forward, bend the elbows, chaturanga, right? Lifting off your foot and slowly place your weight forward as you lift off your back leg. Elbows together, hollowing the body, engaging the legs, glutes and hammies, and slowly come down. That was it. <laughs> so super short on Eka Pada Bakasana, um, but try those two variations and see what you like. Um, hopefully I gave you a few good tips. So any questions, post comments, bring it on. <laughs> Namaste.